UOL and WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. The FTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Good morning. It's Sunday, October 18th, and you're looking at a live view of Falcon 9 as it awaits its 8.25 a.m. Eastern Time launch from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. For this particular booster, it will be flying for the sixth time today. Uh, we will also be attempting to recover the first stage on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. There is a shot of it right there in the Atlantic Ocean. It's going to be the third flight for both of the fairing halves today. Uh, we will be attempting to recover them today using our recovery ships, uh, Miss Tree and Miss Chief. There they are on screen right now. Uh, about two minutes before they're set to land, the team will make a go, no go call to recover them depending on the weather and the sea states. Speaking of weather, uh, we have nothing but blue skies on the East Coast. Uh, the vehicle and satellite and range are all looking good for an on-time liftoff just a few minutes from now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and liftoff. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our Starlink payload to its targeted drop-off orbit. Uh, moments ago, we've begun to throttle down our engines on the first stage in preparation for Max Q. Uh, Max Q is where the vehicle will experience the vehicle highest amount something. of aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. We've just passed Max Q. We're about 25 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. All right, we had successful main engine cutoff, uh, stage separation, and uh, our second stage engine is now up on power on the right hand side of your screen. Again, on the left-hand side of the screen is our first stage. It's going to make its way back to Earth to attempt landing for the sixth time on our drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. Bearing separation confirmed. And off goes those fairing halves, and now exposing the 60 Starlink satellites to space. As a reminder, we will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today. Uh, using our recovery ships, Miss Tree and Miss Chief. Uh, we'll make the call about two minutes before they land, depending on the weather and the sea states. Stage one, entry burn startup. Stage one FTS is saved. Three Merlin engines have relit and are now slowing the first stage down before they hit the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. I have a few more seconds left on this burn. Stage one entry burn shut down. All right, the second burn will be happening about 90 seconds from now. Stage one landing burn. Terminal guidance. 
There's a few of our drone ship. Like deploy. And right down the middle, Falcon 9 has landed. Uh, this particular booster has landed for the sixth time. This marks our 62nd successful recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. And the 32nd time we've landed on this particular drone ship, uh, of course, I still love you. Starlink deploy confirmed. And now you can see on screen these satellites are slowly separating from the second stage. Uh, shortly, they will deploy their solar arrays and over the next few weeks, distance themselves from one another and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way back to their, make their way to their operational orbit. A uh, quick update on fairing catches. It looks like we had a good catch on both fairing halves, but the corner of the net on Mist Tree didn't hold up and gave way. Uh, we didn't have any impacts to the recovery team personnel. Uh, so we'll bring them back uh, and see if we can use them on a future flight. And with that, we'll be bringing our webcast to a close. Thank you to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's mission. Again, if you are interested in getting future news about our Starlink service, head on over to starlink.com and sign up for updates. Uh, thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of the Sunday, everyone.